Yeah, on Saturday we're going to start a series called Home Truths. It's going to be looking at the whole property market and really what we need to do to get it right. And we're going to be looking at things like how key workers like doctors and nurses and IT uh, workers are being priced out of the market due to the rising costs and their salaries. Is it still a good time to try and purchase? Uh, but the history and the background to that is quite a complex one. Why are we so fascinated with bricks and mortar? Why do we feel we have to buy it? Uh, so we look back, right back to the foundation of the state uh, when only 1% of the people own their own houses to now where it's well over 90. Also in the review, new biography of Tony O'Reilly, which is quite fascinating. We have an exclusive interview with Ray Darcy on the cover. Um, he's starting his new chat show and he's talking about basically his nerves and how he knows he's taken a bit of a career and gamble doing this. We have the first of our 16 pages of travel tips um, it's themed but for city breaks and so we have the top 30 city breaks for kind of every budget and everything for families for shoppers for foodies uh, another huge weekend of sport and the two big things for us this weekend are the start of the rugby world cup and the all-ireland football final we've uh, vincent hogan doing a piece analyzing the two playmakers for kerry in dublin uh, he's describing them as two playmakers from two very different galaxies we have Rory O'Connor previewing the big game and we have our star columnists Tony Ward, Alan Quinlan, Ethan Asiwa and Sinead Kassan. We also this weekend have the exclusive extracts from Henry Shefflin's autobiography. We're looking at the refugee crisis which is going from bad to worse and it's shown an incredible lack of leadership in Europe. Uh, Mary Fitzgerald will be looking at the rising tensions as water cannon and uh, gas is actually used by refugees as they get increasingly more desperate. Saturday's Irish Independent. It's your weekend.